Hello there, this is for Jeremy Duncan who's having some difficulty in making the base 64 icon to put into the menu. And I suppose one of the things you could do is just to check to make sure that the encode of the image into base 64 has actually worked. So let's make a little shortcut to test this. So let's go to encode, base 64 encode, put that in there first of all. It says encode in there, but we can also do a decode. So let's do decode. And the input was going to be the clipboard. In the previous video, what we did with the um, shortcut was to put the results of the base 64 into the clipboard, ready to put into the shortcut for the menus. Okay, so this is our first bit here. Now the next thing to do is to put in a um, show or a quick look. So let's have a look, uh, let's quick look. Put this in here, quick look. And now all we need to do is to run it. There you go, that is a image that I encoded into base64 and that shortcut has just turned it back into an image. Easy peasy or what? So the only thing that uh, could be causing problems otherwise is that when you put the uh, base64 text into the shortcut to have it go into the menu, it's just to make sure that the text has no breaks in it. So if you put a space somewhere in between it where there shouldn't be a space, then it's going to break the base 64 and it's not going to work. There you go. Try that out and see how it goes.